Hungry soldiers in the Revolutionary War often had to go foraging. That might sound like wandering through nature, gathering wild berries. Mostly though, it meant walking onto farms and robbing them. Keeping soldiers fed was difficult. British army supplies sometimes took months to cross the ocean, if they ever came at all. The Patriots found it easier to source local supplies, but Congress could only pay for them with IOU notes. And suppliers wanted hard coin. And so there were often shortages on both sides. For soldiers, this could mean malnutrition, disease, and desertion. There was only one thing they could do about it. See what they could find in the countryside. And for any farmers in the neighborhood of an army camp, that was very bad news. New Jersey's farmers were particularly unlucky. In the early months of 1777, they found themselves at the center of the forage war, with redcoats and patriots fighting over the right to strip the countryside of supplies. And farmers saw most of their produce confiscated again in 1778, when the British launched a massive forage expedition to support their mission to the South. Foraging wasn't supposed to be just a free-for-all. Unwritten rules applied. Those being foraged from were supposed to be left with enough to survive. George Washington personally forbade his troops from taking any family's milk cow. He was keen to keep ordinary citizens on his side. And both armies saw stealing personal possessions as dishonorable. But sometimes soldiers went from being foragers to plunderers, stealing whatever they could from the civilians around them. This became a big problem for the British, who were trying to persuade Loyalist sympathizers to fight with them. And unfortunately for them, the Hessians, who fought alongside the Redcoats, had the reputation of being the worst looters in the war, which enraged civilians and caused many to take up arms against the British, proving that foraging, and the way it was done, was not just a supply problem. It was an issue that impacted the outcome of the war itself, 